Hey guys. Today we're going to review a bee vacuum. I feel something building up inside me. I must prepare. I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. A friend of mine built this, and he's been in the bee business for over 40 years, he said. So, quite a long time about learning about bees. Uh, so, let's get into this. As you can see on the top, it has a nice uh, vacuum motor on the top. And it has these four very cool little clips that kind of pull down the lid and keep it sealed for you as you take off that lid you see that the vac there's a separate box on the inside you know and this is the unique part see on the side right here that has the uh, plexiglass uh, so this is a sealed box you know with the vacuum on it you know and, and this is the front hose where it comes out to so if we had a, a, a hose hooked up to this the the bees would actually go right into this secondary box which is self-contained so all right let's uh let's look into this a little bit deeper all right you see that the uh, uh, second box has a uh, uh, egg crate cushion on the back side of it so that when the bees come in there and it something I should show you real quick uh, it's the top vent it, it actually regulates when how much pressure the, the uh, bees are sucked out at so it, you just turn it like this and you adjust it the way you just want them barely pulling off the cone and then they'll come softly hit against that, that egg crate and you're good to go but then this shelf here actually gives them a place to get out of the wind so that they can run and hide under the shelf and stay out of it. All right, but once you've got all your bees vacuumed up and you're, uh, we'll take a look at this right here. I'm, I'm setting it directly onto a beehive right here and I'm pulling out the bottom of it. The bottom slides out, which I'll show you right here. The bottom slides out right there and the bees fall right into into your regular hive and i've done this twice and it's worked both times i mean because i've i've just borrowed this equipment and he actually gave me the idea said if you want that you can have it you know not the vacuum but the, the plan for it. so um, i thought that i would share you know it with y'all and uh of course i think every invention deserves recognition so uh, on our website uh, will be where you can get for a small small donation uh, you can get the blueprints to build one of these on your own and uh, I'm going to give all the donations to him that come for this and to show him that you know uh, you know that he has value and he really like his product uh, of course, I am no expert about bee vacuuming or anything like that. Uh, I've never done it before. Uh, this was my first time, as you can see from this video. Uh, that was my first time of uh, vacuuming, and I actually used it twice and put it over two hive bodies. And now both hives are productive and happy and stable. All right, so once you have the lid slid off there, and I mean the, the bottom slid out from under there, then you can take uh, and remove the top of the vacuum, uh, the top of the box that has the bees in it, and put the bees regular top on there. And then all the bees are in there. And then if you have where you've kept the bees from escaping for 24 hours, then you can go ahead and release them because at both times I come in the morning and there's no bees in, in this top box. So uh, it all worked out good. But I wanted to share that with you guys and share this 
really cool perfection. I know there's bee vacuums out there, and my grandfather, you know, perfected the dry cell battery. So, you know, he didn't invent it, but he perfected it. So we could have something that works good for us. He always said that uh, he would like it in, a, in, it would be a lot better if it was lighter, you know, uh, use some kind of plastic material or something like that, a mold, uh, but not necessary. It wasn't that heavy. It weighed about 20 pounds. You know, when you put two million bees in it, it got a little bit heavier, but you know, still, it wasn't that heavy. It wasn't that hard to, to uh, operate. And so, anyway, if y'all like it, you know, uh, give it a thumbs up, you know, show that he's appreciated, and uh, I'll try to, to pick his brain some, see if we can find some more things that he's come up with uh, on this. Alright guys, Oni Ove Ocha, means I love you in Hebrew. Later guys. What I strive to do every day As I live off the land Lead me at your pace For you, Lord, I'll go for green living Help me to feed all the hungry Use me, Lord, to ease their misery From all this worldly pain and captivity for you lord i'll go for green living i feel something building up inside me <laughs> i must prepare i must get ready serving you yahweh keeps me strong and steady for you lord i'll go for green living for you Lord, I'll go for 